Supremacy, short movie review. Born has been off the grid for two years, hiding out with Marie, and suddenly he is forced back because he is framed for the murder of two CIA agents, busting an op. This op was run by Pamela Landy, played by Joan Allen in a very badass role, and she wants answers. She thinks Bourne has them, and she's not gonna rest until she gets them from him. And meanwhile, he doesn't... <laughs> For one thing, he wants to scare them away from ever finding him again. He, he made a warning at the end of the first movie, and he's gonna follow through on that warning. And for another thing, he of course wants to prove that he was framed. So we again have two very determined people going up against each other, both of them CIA and both of them very aware of, you know, th these are not at all rookies. In addition to Joan Allen, we have various, the, the supporting characters from the first movie return. Brian Cox is the sort of bureaucratic CIA guy and the and Julia Stiles as somewhat of a lower level CIA agent. And among the new ones also is Carl, excuse me, Urban, who plays a very convincing Russian guy who kills people. I'm not going to give away what his actual profession is because it's not revealed for quite a bit of the movie, but you do get to find out what he is. And it, this is the only movie where I've found him particularly compelling, but man, he does well in this movie. And Matt Damon, of course, plays the role, the title role, again, very well. Where the first one had him portraying Amnesiac, which is quite a bit of a challenge. This one, he knows who he is, and he has this determination to him, this, this single-mindedness to, yeah, and he, he just does really well. Now, this is one of those sequels that goes bigger, and it's also one of the few sequels that actually does deliver on the better part of that phrase. And yeah, it's, the, it's, it's got a faster pace, the action has gotten bigger without losing the very realistic approach. However, it does also fit in some cliches that the first one definitely avoided. Bourne's abilities are now starting to border on the superhuman. For example, he somehow makes time for the flashbacks that suddenly overpower him. The And then we, we have Paul Greengrass's directorial style, which is that everything, everything is shot in shaky cam. Every action scene is done in close-ups and not not purely close-ups, but often with close-ups. And a lot of the time the film just is very subtly lit, meaning a lot of what we see is very dark. And when an action scene is tight, dark, fast, and with shaky cam, it gets just almost impossible to follow, and that's what happens a lot of the time. This, the climax is especially really straining to watch. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.